Coach, somebody's phone. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll do my best. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Hey, thanks for having us. It's been awesome. You guys have been fantastic for us. Good. Chuck, his staff, the incredible players here at Gallaudet University to build this incredible helmet. This helmet was designed with these players, the staff, this coach in mind, and of course the entire deaf and hard of hearing community. It never would have happened if a small group with a vision hadn't seen the potential that 5G had to connect players to greater possibilities. And in honor of the incredible partnership that we have had with the university, AT&T is donating $500,000 to the football program. And that's not all. Every single player on this team will receive a new helmet, a new smartphone, and a year's worth of service from AT&T. Congratulations on this historic moment and go Bison! Coach 
if you wanted to say anything, but before you do, I just wanted to say with those of you who are here, I would like to take a moment to be able to share that this place here at Hotchkiss Field, if you think about what was invented here was the football huddle. This is where it first came to be. And they invented the huddle to prevent other players from being able to see the communication that was happening on the team playing here. But one thing that they had yet to resolve until yeah. almost 100 years later is how to be able to keep the information private from you know what's being communicated from the coach to the players. The deaf community hadn't solved that problem yet. And the other thing is that the hearing players have had auditory technology available in their helmets, and at least two players on each team have the ability to be able to hear and to communicate in that way. But we didn't have that type of technology available for deaf and hard hearing players. And there are great things that happen when we collaborate and work together. We always have to remember that great things happen through collaboration. Helen and her team, with Mark and others, the effort that you have really taken on from AT&T and providing the care to our community and looking to see what's possible, I just commend you for all of your work and what you have developed. Thank you again to at and I also wanted to share one more thing, and I had mentioned this to Helen, that growing up, the company that was one of the best providers as it related to communication access and technology for the deaf community, if many of you remember, they actually had the different dials on the phone that made it available for people to be able to hear better, or even thinking about TTY devices that were available on the telephone. It was AT&T who made that technology possible and made technology accessible for the deaf and hard And this could be a better day to partner, to develop something new. And again, thank you so much for all that you've done. It's been an amazing journey, and it's now time to make a history of it.
by 15 in our
guys in Oh, yeah. 
DPI, right? I don't know. So pass interference. I don't think What uh, number? 14. 14. 14. Five is starting the end zone.
Because they're in the rain. 
Is there any more? There we go. Oh, it's right now. I'm going to take that piece.
at the uh, 35. 35 
is not in the pocket. There is not a receiver there. Thank you. 
either, either way, you can be ready. Be ready. Be ready.
That's what he did. Okay. Yeah.